What's up guys, in this video we are going to build this mech frame, then later on this. This frame is quite similar to the frame we used to build these. Now unlike the previous frame where we used a bunch of custom parts like these, we are strictly going to only use Lego brick elements for this build. And if you'd like to show your support, you can download a PDF copy of these instructions at rubricable.com, parts list as well. Check out the link down below. Every bit of download can help a lot, so thank you. We are going to build in sections, we have the upper body, lower body, chest and hatch, then we do the arms, then legs. Here are the parts we need for the upper body. Let's start with the spine of the frame. A good foundation can come a long way. Rods and open studs will work best here. I find this round open plates really good for making the spine flexible and durable. Then we add these brackets for plating points for the back. We use a 1x2 round open plate here for the arm connection. Then push in this ball bar. Make sure to get that in real tight. This clip holder can be used for head connections. This part right here is for aesthetics. We're adding a bar for design consistency. And the round plates and bars can look like gears and rods, which makes it look more interesting. Finish this off with tiles to smoothen everything out. All right, all done. Here are the parts for the lower body. I 
find this bracket really good for cockpits. yellow parts here are like energy packs, an interactive hatch can be fun. And that's it. Next we'll work on the chest part. Real simple and done. Now let's do the legs. These one by two round plates with open studs and lamp holder pieces are a really good combination for joints. Now let's work on the arms.
let's put all these together. Make sure these bars go under the chest. They sort of look like tubes. Then wheels in between, connect the legs. Then lastly, connect the arms. finish the frame, let's get to plating. So now that we have built the frame, it's time to put on the plates. My formula for all the mechs I've made is to prep the frame according to the color scheme we'll be working with. In this case, it's dark red, so I already replaced the plates and brackets, mostly top layers, into dark reds. Check out the back view as well. And the reason we don't put the plates on top of the frame right away like so, is because it can create those dark gray gaps in between like this which may create inconsistency in the overall design. What's important to me in building this mechs is consistency and sexiness. So we want that wide back, narrow waist, thick thighs and small calves. Sort of having that V shape which is interesting to look at. Let's go ahead and put on the plates. We'll be building in sections as well. Here are the parts we need for the upper body. This back part that we are making is like a shield with a squad emblem. Sometimes we just gotta represent. Let's put this aside and work on the head. This orange piece is from a knight helmet which fits nice in this round open stud. Then we connect this to the clip holder right here. And pro tip, always angle the head like it's looking downwards. It just looks cooler that way. Then let's build the chest and lower body. Let's take this bracket off so we can work on the crotch area. Now 
now let's work on the chest. I always find myself putting round pieces on the chest area. Something about it makes it look functional and good to look at. Okay, done and let's connect this. Oh and don't forget the pilot. I find putting a mini figure can help shape the frame since it is so flexible. almost forgot to play this area here. Once again, an interactive door can be fun. All set, let's work on the legs. With a lot of plating points, we have a lot of options here. What's important to me is layering the plates to get that V-shape. Putting round plates on top of joints is a quick way to show that there is movement going on here and this rubber piece makes the effect look way better. Then we continue layering the plates all the way down.
We use an orange piece here as a callback to this color. Helps our design to be more consistent. Now the feet. All set. I find it nice to always layer down the plates and get that sexy V shape. That's always nice to look at. Don't forget the back as well, while having a good articulation still. Build the other side as well. Now let's plate the arms. Most of the work here is done. We just have to smoothen out the rest. These pointy slopes are a good callback for these pyramids we used, which makes the design overall consistent. Then the other side as well. All right, we are done. Once again, make sure to face the head downwards for more cool points. Lastly, we'll build the weapon. Start with the 8L axles. Having bright colors like the yellow pieces here can highlight a part of a weapon. In this case, flames come out. Time for the pose. With this kind of fingers, gripping can be a problem but still manageable. We are finally set, so today we built a frame and plated it, keeping in mind layering. We built it with a wide back, narrow waist, thick thighs and small calves, achieving the desired V-shape. And remember, so always angle the head downwards to distract your viewers that we are only using a single stud to look like a pair of eyes. Now let's do a clutch test. Phew, all good. Now you can safely hand this to your nephews or little brothers. Thank you for watching and remember, always, always keep on building.